my name is Rob Kaur. I'm an animation director and educator in New York. I am starting off uh, this first YouTube channel. Well, I did have a short YouTube channel, 10, well, I guess it was back in 2010, uh, going over my last film, which was called The Lift. Uh, this is kind of a revamp where I want to try showing a little piece of animation I did for Instagram. Well, for my own personal Instagram, not Instagram, the company. Um, and uh, I tried to uh, use a new program that I've not used before, which is called Clip Studio Paint, and uh, it fully animated on the iPad. Have a look at this website, animatorisland.com. I had a look at it a few weeks ago, and I found uh, this first uh, older group of assets to practice, which was uh, 51 great uh, animation exercises. Not usually the best thing for social media, so I started doing one which was their looping exercise, Simple Ball Bounce, which is right here. And But then I found this one, which was uh, 51 loop suggestions, and I think I kind of uh, latched onto this one a bit better. Feels a little bit more um, interesting for social media to me. On my lunch break, I really don't want to work on my work computer, and sometimes I want to be a little bit more free to wander around. So I uh, started uh, working on my um, iPad with uh, Clip Studio Paint, which is right here. So this uh, program is put out by a company called Celsius. It's a little bit on the pricey side at 85 or $89 a year, but it does give you quite a strong animation package. So what I decided to do first was a bouncing ball and then it kind of developed into more of a, uh, an eyeball bouncing. So what's really nice about this program is that it feels almost like a full featured um, iOS, uh, I mean, uh, app desktop application. It has save, it has a uh, folder structure, it has drop down menu items, um, more uh, options. Uh, the timeline even allows for some tweening, uh, though it's pretty limited. But um, here is the loop that I produced, which I'll also uh, show separately. And uh, the way this was animated on twos, um, you can see this the layer right here, which I started on first. And this red line here is the uh, time. And I only animated up to this loop where I labeled the, the timeline loop two. Before that, I pretty much just animated this piece, which is about uh, 20 frames, and then it repeats back to uh, frame one. What this program lets you do, it's kind of a bit like Harmony in that it allows you to change the linking of each frame. So if I go in and I want this frame five right here, even though it's on frame nine, it's on, um, it's referencing the fifth asset and go to this linking option and I can pick what, um, kind of what cell or drawing I want to link it to, which would be more of a harmony reference. Um, so in that way, I kind of feel like it's a little bit closer to harmony than flash. I mean, also it's bitmap. So that kind of makes it closer to harmony. For the first few frames I did on ones, there's the contact right here, and then it reverses pretty quickly and then pops back up in the air. And then it eases in the air as the eyeball tilts forward, and then it shoots back down again, and then hits the loop. Now you can see I looped this out three times. I think it was three times or more. There's a little slide bar down here. You can also use your fingers too. Yeah, I looped it out more than that because I wanted to get it to um, three seconds. Um, Instagram, this is an Instagram aspect ratio and I wanted to uh, make this an easy export for my iPad and then post it directly to Instagram. So I went in here, I, uh, I went in here and animated this first part, then duplicated it. Then I went and started adding um, other pieces, like I added uh, some A highlight to the eye, which is this. If I pull up the timeline, we'll see some more. I added color. Now the color I did once, and then I recolored it three times, so it would change color as it drops down. So it goes blue, red, and then green. And then I, uh, I don't know what this eye part did. Oh, I added, I guess that was a bit of correction on the eye. I don't know what that was. I hope it makes it look a little bit nicer. 
Um, one of the things I thought that really helped it look a bit better was adding an animated boiled background. So you'll see down here, I animated these on one, two, three. And what that is, is it's a boiled uh, watercolor painting. This program actually has really nice brushes when it comes to this brush tool. You get um, all these watercolor, oil paint, other uh, tool, tools and uh, brushes that are a little bit more interesting than you would get in most um, animation programs. I haven't used this program on desktop, but it is offered on Mac and on uh, Windows. And uh, so far from what I've seen, comparable to a Surface Pro, uh, this uh, version uh, for the iPad can hold up pretty well. I'm not seeing any chugging or slowness at all. Um, mind you, I'm not working in HD, I'm working in 1080 by 1350, which is the exact resolution that, um, that uh, uh, Instagram accepts. So yeah, so the boiled background combined with the other pieces, and then I also boiled my uh, signature, which you'll see in the corner. And then I think that kind of made for a pretty nice fully featured loop. Um, what's also kind of neat about this program is you can have open multiple projects. And I'm working on the step, the second part of, uh, of uh, this loop uh, exercise by doing a wave. And I took my character from my current film, whose name is Savannah. Um, I'm not going to show the full thing yet because I haven't finished it. But suffice to say, it looks like this. I'll go in a little bit more detail. Uh, when I post a video on this one. She's not currently blinking, but it's a quick wave sequence. Um, but that's it. That's pretty, pretty much how this program works. It's uh, pretty simple. Um, if uh, you have any questions about how this works, how this, uh, how this program works, uh, please uh, comment and I'll see if I can get back to you. Um, one of the other things I'm kind of thinking about trying to do is maybe um, animation criticism. Uh, it's something I do a lot in my day job and it's something um, I do a lot in teaching. So um, if you want to email me a video of yours, I'm more than happy to uh, look at it and give a critique, but um, I want to probably post it on YouTube uh, as part of a critique. So you just need to be okay with that. Aside from this, uh, please uh, subscribe and um, if you can, uh, follow my Instagram and uh, hopefully I'll be able to do another one of these videos soon. Thanks. Bye.